Hello everybody, welcome to video number two. Um, I'll try and pick up from where I left off. If I forget some stuff, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll try and pick it up later on. Uh, let's kind of cover what life's been like the last month and 10 days or so. Um, there's been a lot of changes. There's been a lot of feelings, lots of feelings. Um, but all good. It, it, it all comes out to be good. I have had a lot of changes in the last week or so. Um, same as my lovely wife Anastasia, who is a godsend. Um, and I, I want to circle back to that because there's a few things I want to say about that. Um, but... Uh, to start at the beginning, after, you know, I told Anastasia what I told her, uh, that first period was like, um, ecstasy, you know, the possibilities, what they, like, like it was a almost information overload, you know what I mean? It's... It, 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 it was crazy. It was like a, like a rocket ship shooting right to the moon and then boom, you know. Um, I did a lot of research. I, me and Anastasia talked. Not deep as I wanted, but we did talk, right? Um, we found out a few things about each other and, you know, what married couples should really be talking about. Um, so that lasted about a week or so maybe a little longer um in that period of time i also decided that i was disgusted in my body uh and i uh, sadly as joseph i didn't care i let myself go and i i'm not gonna say I was, i'm horrendous looking or that but i'm not happy with what i see in the mirror there's some things i could do that don't cost money don't don't need to go anywhere it just takes determination and the dedication of your time to it uh, so I started working out which is a good thing for me um, especially for a few reasons uh, health wise right because eventually I'm going to be changing the chemistry of my body and there are consequences that if you're not careful so it's important that you be as healthy as possible, and that starts from the very beginning. So I I started that. Nothing over the top. Um, I also decided to start eating a little healthier. Um, you know, I started taking my health, my my body, um, how I took care of myself, a little more seriously. Um, so I start making decisions to try and change some of the habits that I have that are not going to help. I still have a few that are battles are still being waged. Um, but I'm very proud because I'm have not missed a day except yesterday. Um, I've been very diligent on it and even to the point that I'm actually seeing some of the weight loss and some of the definition that my body's providing, which I'll have to be honest, I'm very lucky that way. Um, I know some transgenders have uh, some extra battles when it comes to their bodies and that, and I know that I've been blessed with that. So um, it, everything was good. Um, I was excited, I was happy, um, Anastasia was quiet, um, still positive, but, um, unfortunately, <laughs> it's all I talked about, right, we talk about other stuff, but it consumed everything, so, uh, I f feel bad for that, but, <laughs> I kept doing it. Right, uh, until she mentioned something just recently, um, which we'll get to. Uh, but about 
after that honeymoon period or whatever the case may be that um habit i learned over the last 20 years of uh beaten rain down um that rain was disgusting rain it was wrong it's bad it's disgusting you can't be doing this blah 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 um that's what started happening and i start recoiling i kept doing my workouts and that right but emotionally i kind of recoiled back a bit and i i didn't do anything other than that i didn't go one way or the other i just let time pass um it took about a week i'm i still don't fully understand what happened uh i wasn't a negative necessarily real negative state but it it had the potential to lead to a depression if i wasn't careful but luckily i i talked to the right people i um i did what i should have done um i still as a side note need to go see a counselor and i will be going to see a counselor but i will go see a counselor that I feel comfortable with a counselor that is competent and to talk to me about these things I don't need someone that's giving me advice that has no idea none of what they're talking about so with that said when uh, that week of mourning kind of you know down um I ended up deciding to tell my mother because at this point in time only Anastasia knew and I was starting to work on trying to begin the transition to very small small steps right uh, our, my mom lives with us we take care of her so <laughs> obviously she's going to figure something's going on at some point in time so I finally mustered up enough courage probably within I'd say we are about the two and a half week mark now maybe the close to the three week mark um, and I sat her down and I just kind of laid laid it out there um, and my mom has always been accepting of the minorities people who are different uh, the people is the people that have been persecuted, judged, all the rest of it. She's never judged people by what they are, but rather who they are. So that went, that was positive, and 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 ended up the way I was expecting, which was good. But then I felt like, oh, thank God, now now my home is free. I can I can start expanding outward, at least in my home. Um. So that's what I did, you know, uh, I kept doing my exercises, uh, Anastasia actually had uh, bought me a makeup kit week one, and we never got to it, which frustrated me a little, but I wasn't, as excited as it was, I wasn't comfortable yet, I don't know if that makes sense, but I wasn't ready yet, so it wasn't a huge deal. Um she bought me two exercise outfits so at least I would have something I could wear to feel a little better uh, you know so I could feel normal (laughs) strange word isn't it (laughs) especially coming from someone like me Um, but again what is normal and I use those outfits and they mean a lot to me and she it's the first pair of clothing ever to actually fit me so that was exciting so you know uh, things were becoming more positive I was becoming more confident not huge but I got to the point where I was confident enough to talk to work about it and so I went and I talked to the HR department and I explained to them uh, what was what and what was going on and this that and the other and um, she was very receptive she was kind um, she made me feel comfortable mind you I did not feel comfortable I was terrified um, 
we came up with a game plan. She told me anything I needed. You know, like really, really amazing stuff. And I'm blessed to have such a wonderful employer. But after that conversation, uh, and I left, uh, it, the realization, the feeling came over me that now I can be me at work. Wow, that's excellent. I like that. I like that. It's exciting. So then I I started telling more and more people. Slowly, though. The next one was a like a little sister to me, borderline daughter. Um, and she was the hardest one to tell. I, strange, strange, strange. I still remember sitting there. Uh, she's sitting across the table from me, and I'm trying to lead into, hey, <laughs> you know the, the big mean Joseph that you know? <laughs> Actually, I was terrified. Absolutely terrified. To the point where I was trembling. And um, I, I don't tremble. I never have. So uh, from that point forward, um, it was positive. Uh, we've gotten actually closer, and uh, I felt more love, which is awesome. And it's, it's, it's a great thing. And, <laughs> and uh, it gave me enough strength to keep pushing forward type thing, you know. Um, I had, in the midst of all this, I was trying to connect to the transgender community. Some, someone, somewhere, something. I need someone to talk to that understood or lived, or is living what I am. And unfortunately, it's been a very uh, frustrating experience. Uh, I think uh, that was kind of part of why I kind of went into that little slump. But after I had talked to a few people, and things were kind of starting to look up for me emotionally, I... Every day I was fairly happy. I was chipper, more bubbly. Um, I was starting to accumulate a few little things, like the hat that I'm wearing right now and a few other little things that uh, I can at least slowly start enjoying myself. So, uh, as that went on, we are, we're getting to the, the end of the month. Um, so it had almost been a month in, and I finally was lucky enough to connect with a transgender woman um, from Canada, nonetheless. And it was just sure coinc coincidence, circumstance, that I came across a video that dealt with her story. And it fascinated me, just the way the video was done, the music, and blah, 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 blah. So I went looking for her, and I had literally found her videos, and I watched all of them. And her early ones, her very early ones, spoke to me. It spoke to me. To, I felt, first time, I felt, wow, someone is going, has going, gone through what I'm feeling right now. So I reached out to her. And we connected, and she's been a like a mentor to me. Um, very positive. She is an amazing human being, and I'm so, so thankful that she's in my life. And she's going to help me transition through. And that's a good thing. Um, we get into February, uh, up to this point right now which is February 10th um, that's when all the stuff that's happened happened I um, slowly start talking to all my friends um, childhood friends people that deal with me people that see me on like I said before a regular basis and that and I one by one I talked to them and explained Every time holding my breath, expecting the worst, but it that never came. Um, after I had talked to those individuals and I got the feedback I did, I happened to have my doctor's appointment that day, which is the day that the video one 
was done. Um, and that's when I said, okay, screw it. I am who I am. And the sooner I th throw that out there, the sooner I can start living me in the real world. The world we all have to deal with. Um, uh, and I'll be honest with you, I just did it. But I was terrified of some of the reactions and not one negative reaction happened. Um, Anastasia obviously made the video that night. Um, she got a phenomenal amount of uh, support. Like, I can't... I, there's no words. Like, I, I... The first time in my life I feel actually accepted when I feel the least like me ish like i'm in the crossroads but i feel the most accepted and loved now and it's because i finally accepted me and i honestly like me um and i'm gonna like me the more and more and more as i move down this line <laughs> but um everyone's been really amazing but there's a couple things we're getting a little lengthy and i know my rule right don't want long videos so i gotta hurry up and i apologize um first um there's some comments and thoughts that i've seen come from people that have responded to anastasia um it might be my sensitivity i don't know but some of them feel like they come off like i've just done the most horrible thing to my wife almost like I cheated on her or something like that that is not what I have done um, I feel absolutely horrible because I know this is a massive upheaval um, and that's something I'm working through and uh, I have told her that I love her so much that I would live as Joseph for the rest of my life to make her happy and I know I don't have to do that and that's wrong and all that other stuff but it's that's how much I love her I don't want to see her suffer I don't without her who knows right so I just want everyone to understand that and I also want everyone to understand they're acting like Joseph is dying. Joseph never existed. That's the problem. I made Joseph because I couldn't be me. So I did the best job I could do of being a boy. And that was Joseph. So all I'm doing is taking the costume off. And I hope everyone can understand that because who I am is not changing. It's not changing at all. Um, physically, I'm going to change, no doubt. Emotionally, I'm going to react differently, no doubt. But my values, my heart, my wants, my desires, my, my loves, my, my, my annoyances, every little piece that makes me me is still there. So I would hope that anyone that is dealing with someone that's transgender it might be different for everybody's situation but I know for me stop acting like I'm dying I'm not I'm being born and I hope I hope that makes sense if it doesn't I'm sorry I try to be as informative as I can um, I don't got much time left so and I desperately want to say this Anastasia is a miracle in my life. She makes me feel pretty. She makes me... She makes me believe that it's all going to be okay. And I know it's going to be all okay, but sometimes you don't... You need someone to say it. Her accepting me and not leaving saying I can't handle this and all that other stuff and I would have understood it means the world to me I would die for this woman I would go through hell for this woman and any any difficulties 
that anesthesia is going through uh, because of what I'm going through, I will be there. I will do everything to be there. I put her before I put me. And I think everybody needs to know that. To Anastasia, I am so glad I met you. I am so glad I was a boy when I met you. You have made my life better. Because of you being in my life, I can finally be free. And uh, I can never repay you for that. Except for my undying love and uh, my undying loyalty to you. In a woman's body, in a man's body, with horns, whatever, it don't matter. Um, I just want to make sure that's sad because she deserves it. She's an amazing woman. Um, I'm starting to get a little, you know, so I don't particularly want to cry on camera or be emotional on camera right now. I'm not that, that, yeah, that's not my thing right now. So I'm going to cut her short. And I, again, I hope you like, like it. I hope it informs you. And I just broke the length of the last one. So I'm really sorry. Um, I hope to see you guys again. Take care of each other. And remember, never, ever, ever give up. You're never alone. Okay? I'll see you guys next time.